In our first video, we did introduction for our help desk technical lab course. At the end, we wanted to discuss what kind of lab will we provide on job skills share and how you can use your personal virtualization solution if you don't want to purchase the job skill share lab space. So first I would like to talk about you can fully do this lab in your own virtual environment. So you could be using VirtualBox, VMware, Hyper-V, any type of virtualization you want to use as long as you can follow and you can create a domain controller in multiple machines to manage it through Active Directory, then you're good to go. But again, why did we choose to use JobScreenShare lab space? So before I jump into that, I would like to show you how you can use your own virtual box by going to youtube.com and search for job skill share virtual box when you do that please click on this video right here which says one hour 30 minutes even though i have a lot more videos on virtualization i would like you to keep your focus to this video because in this i am showing you exactly what kind of ram and hardware requirements you will need to actually run a proper lab or else it will be slow it may not be slow, we don't know yet. And this is the reason we don't want to do this on our personal computers. Because when we do such things, a lot of the time user will complain about my RAM is not enough or I have a problem with the Mac, I am using a different type of devices. So to get away from that, we have already done that on YouTube. So you can watch this and you can properly use this and actually do this on your own machines. But we will not be supporting uh, personal machines over here this is why we wanted to have our own system where we can rent it out and people can actually use it now of course this lab is designed for other nonprofits and organizations as well and they will be getting our labs so I will recommend that if you don't want to take any stress and you want to get into learning quickly and you want to learn and then maybe you can practice it on your own machines or maybe invest money on your own machines buying more powerful systems or laptops maybe you can do that but our goal is to have less stress more resources and quickly get into the more business world learning and this is what we are doing right here so with this i am going to start explaining what we provide in our lab before we get into the labs i would like to point out some important information this access is not a part of practice lab and this access is not a part of our membership you need to contact support to find out how to access these labs. Now on the left side, you have ability to click on lab space and servers. Once you get access, simply click on this little eye icon and you will see the lab portal. Now in this, we call it lab space because we give multiple machines in one access. So one is going to be your server 2019 and three Windows 10 operating systems. Now this is a total amount what you will get in this whole lab space. 8 vCPUs, 20 GB RAM, and 250 SSD. So if you click on this little eye icon, you see the portal is right there. Now if you want to click on the full screen, simply click on the blue button, full screen, and now you have the lab access right here. On the left side, you have a panel where you can basically see how to use this lab by watching this video. And you have VM manager where basically you click on this and then you will see how to manage your machines on the right side. I'll show you that in a second. On here you have this lab support manual which is very important. So now if you feel like you are stuck in a lab and you would like to see some support by yourself, then you can basically open this and actually see how to log in, how to open a machine, how to change the performance. Basically all that stuff is available in this manual. On the left top side, you have VM Manager. Now this username and password is provided by our support team. When you click on it, it will show you all the VMs that are controlling your control panel on the right side. Basically, this is a portal where you have VMs running on a server and on that server, that machines are then represented on this portal. So let's say you click on the VM Manager. This will take you to our VM manager portal once you log in you can see you have your machines running now remember all of these machines are going to be on work group and this is something you will learn in your lab content section but before that let's log into your portal this is going to be same username and password given to you 
All right, now you can see that your VM is right here. All of your machines are running. And on the right side of the portal, you can see every machine is available. So now let's just get to the portal. Now you can see we have created this feature where you can just drag this and you can see the content on the left side and you can see the labs on the right side. You can see the content on the left side. If you drag it to the left, you can see the content getting bigger on the right side. Now this is very useful when you're doing lab because let's say for example you're working on a content on the left side which is going to be your lab content and this is going to be also very easy to use. These are PowerPoint slides. You can go to different slides right inside that PowerPoint but if it's too small you can make it to the right side like that and scroll down and you can see you can see the slide but still it's too small. So what should you do right here? You can click on this little icon for full screen and now this is a great way to see your screen and you can go to the content let's say for example this one and then you can watch that and click on this button again come back to your lab and then you can perform that on your machine now how do you connect to your machines simply right click on the machine and click on desktop if you see this screen you can also just click on the machine and then click on desktop now how do you connect it to the machine you're going to click on connect and there you go you got connected this username and password will be also provided in your lab so you're just going to click on send all control delete there's buttons on the bottom and for that we have also created a lab manual if you like to see the manual this is also available here we have troubleshooting steps in there too but again if you want to uh, use the screen full screen then we have the ability to toggle to the left panel so you just do that and now you have the full screen now, even inside your screens, because these are labs, you're, you're basically using your web browser and then you're using another system and then you're using a system. So make sure to use and utilize these features because you can click on this and make it a little more bigger. You can click on this icon just to make it even more bigger or uh, set it to your screen. So you have many, many features available to make sure that you don't have any problems with the lab. And you can see now I can toggle left panel again to get back to my content. Now you may come across issues in these labs because these are real virtual machines these are not simulations these are real how you're going to be using your own virtual box or vmware on the machines at home this is exactly the same thing so you need to make sure that these machines are managed correctly so for that the vm manager is a perfect solution where you can come over here and see if your machine is running then you will see it over here if it's not showing up over here, then this means that you can go back to your VM manager and see if it's stopped or there's some updates running. So you can click on it and actually see the progress on the left side right here. So this screen may be even at the boot level. And when it's at the boot level, you will not see it right here. Or maybe it's running updates. You may not see that because there's an agent running that shows these machines. So let's say, for example, you're having issues with these machines. It's not coming up or maybe it's not connecting correctly. The first thing you should do is to just restart the machine from here. You can click on it, any machine, click on action and just restart the machine or reset the machine. So here you will see after two or three minutes, you will see the machine again. Very easy stuff. And this basically gives you an opportunity to not rely on support all the time. But you will have support if, let's say, for example, you cannot even get to the virtual machines back end, this stuff right here, then of course you're going to need support or maybe you're having some other issues that this cannot be fixed with restart, then you will need to contact support. Now on the left side, this is going to be a full course where, like I said, you can come over here and then take all of these step by step. So let's say for example, start with slide one, slide two, what is gonna be the lab objectives? Everything will be covered on the right side. So the lab objectives are gonna be step by step process. So this is gonna take time and this is gonna be your one area that you wanna keep and coming back to it and coming back to your labs on the right side and perform any technical tasks now on the left side we also have this extra practice so this is already done it's like four to six hours content right now you can click on these playlists these are free videos on our uh, YouTube channel and you can come over here and watch these three four five videos that's about five hours right there and you can actually practice directly on the right side machines we will be adding even more stuff over here but the first three one two and this one the last one is actually done on the same lab so you may not even have issues with anything that you may see different so we're going to keep this almost the same for these labs but again 
you're going to have a lot of content inside the lab course so this will give you a great great start or even give you the, that skills that you're missing from your a plus certifications degree and you want to learn something very quickly this would be the perfect solution but let me remind people again that this is not a replacement to our program which is a full program and that starts with our dashboard start your journey here this can take you two to three months to finish all of the content the labs are just a quick way to not get into theories we do we will not get into any explanations in detail we'll just do some basic explanation and then we'll jump into the lab to quickly finish it and all of these skills are going to be very very beneficial for you and your job thank you